guys. I'm just going to share. I recently purchased this off of Timu, and it is a tag pocket die. And I wanted to share with you what I made. Some people were saying, I'd like to see you make that made up. So I did that, and I also had gotten in these heart stitch dies. And I used this. Oh, sorry. I'm having a hard time with the back of my ankle. I mean, it's always something. Anywho, these little ones. Or big ones. This big one. This one's pretty big. I use that. And I use from this set. And then I'm going to color. But um, the word, you know, my favorite word, blessed. And then I also, it has an acorn in here, which is super cute. So I use that. So let me show you what I did. So I may do a make it with me let me know down below if you want to see how i'm it's if I, like I, I always say if i can figure it out anybody can but anywho um this is the first one i made i think it turned out really cute so you get all these different tags i just played around you get a half circle so you can go like that and i use my um kingston crafts the fall went in my garage and i went okay i need to start using this stuff Anyway, there's the word blessed, and I use the print. So the deal with Kingston Crafts is you get two sides. It's paper that is sold on HSN. Um, one side's big, one side is smaller, the print. So I think I used a small one, all of this. So then I used it in this color. Now I will say this word blessed, you had to reverse it because it was backwards. So... Anyway, it came out fine because it's double-sided paper. Then I went around it with a dark brown. And check out this acorn. So I cut it out, this brown from this, so the top, and then used a beige kind of color. And this comes with, you can do a little tag or journaling spot or a picture, whatever you want to put in there. And I used, I don't know if you guys remember, it was embroidery thread, and I was thinking it was for a sewing machine. So I had that, and I threaded those on with that from the hubby and the lubby. So I got that one, and then I made, or not got that, I made that one. And I like it because you get these layers, so you can do the topper. So this one I did completely different. Still the Kingston Craft, because I brought a lot of that paper out here. I'm at my trailer. Um, did that. And then that little stitched heart. I use the inside and the outside. Let's see here if I can find it again. So I use the outside and then I use the inside. And then there's a place for journaling on the back. I haven't added anything here. The pocket super, it comes with a layering piece. Very cute. So see how this is small dots, big dots. It's the same paper, just both sides. And I like that stitching on that heart. So yeah, I was having fun with that. Did my walk. Good girl. I'm having some Achilles tendon type problem. I don't know. I don't know. You get to a certain age, and I'm not, you know, way up there, but it's, you notice pain more and more and more. So hopefully, let me stand up and see if I can see what you're... Yeah, I think the lighting's okay. So I had um, shown her, and I thought, well, let's color her up, and you can zip through this if you're not interested, but... see here I did her with orange and purples this is a bright pink shades nope that's not what I'm looking for somebody asked what I tried ones I bought them in these 24 piece sets so this is this one and it was called essential blends and you can I've replaced a couple recently that either I left the lid off, I stepped on one, um, so you can order them individually too. So and then this one is the Deep Blends. Okay, so hopefully that helps whoever's looking. Different sites have them. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think this is the purple I want. So I'm going to take all the lids off here. And go in and do my purples. This is the dark. Yeah. 
So it's very quiet out here tonight, which is nice. It's been... It stays cooler in here. I keep saying that from the woods because it got up to the upper 70s, but we've just had the best. This is the way summers used to be here. 70s, mainly. Hardly ever got above the 80s. This is how I grew up. Nice, cool, nice weather. I do not know what happened on my um, Cocorosa. And the, the gal that I work with was asking, can you explain why that one is sideways? I go, nope. I did it in little clips and I could not get it to load correctly. I altered it. I flipped it in from my camera. Like I do everything else, it would not do it. So I finally just loaded it and I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm doing the best I can here, people. So I tried to get Fancy Nancy and um, yeah, that's really light. This is not the same purples that I used before. Um, and do clips so you didn't have to listen to the rustling and me getting out each. You know, I thought I'd speed it along and Put them all together. Yeah, Kim tries to get fancy and it doesn't always work out too good. So I'm not real crazy about this. It's too light. I don't really like it. Um, hydrangea blend. But I'm just going to go over it and call it good. Okay. Which was the one I used before? Where's that one? Oh, here, I think this maybe. Purple blend. There you go. Anyway, let's try the light one on that. See if I like that bit. Yep. Yeah. Let's try that. That's kind of a purple, pinky. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's better. I like that better. All right. And then I'm gonna do her dress in purple. Didn't do any shopping today, even online. So proud of myself. <laughs> God, I really got to get out of the shopping mode, you know. Start using it, right? I stopped by to get, I did get a Timu haul in order, but it really wasn't anything to share. It was another one of those little under the desk sh um Carts. What else? Oh, I got this. And I did order these words that I'll cut up. And I thought I might do them in like white and white, and then I can color the words to match whatever I need. I mean, this has got, I don't know how many words. A lot. So, there's that. Anyway, so that came. I stopped by my son's because they had brought it. I thought it would go to the mailbox. I've been trying not to bother them while the in-laws are here. Anyway, we had all had a nice visit on the deck. So that was nice. I got to see them a little bit. Just fun. They're a nice couple. They're here for just this week, so. They're from the Midwest. And then they winter in Florida, so they have a they visit occasionally, so it's nice for Emma to have her grandma. Her she calls her Mima. It's kind of sweet. I guess um, it was kind of cute. Um, her Mima says, "Yeah." So Emma laughs and says that driving around and doing things with you is an adventure. And I go, "Yeah." I go, "We're perfectly safe," but I do call it an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm quite the character. I don't know if you know that about me, but I uh, is. To be consistent, I'm going back over with the other purple over the... Anyway, I don't know if I should be doing that or not, but I think it looks okay. All right, I'm going to come back I'll finish coloring in her dress and then we will do the other parts all right I finished coloring her dress I guess you would call it but this side came out different 
I don't know. It's okay. So, I thought we would do the slime coming down her hat here. I guess that's slime. I don't know. Not sure why she has slime, really. Like I said, I am not a colorist, but, you know, I enjoy it. Let's see. Try blend. What is this? This is citrus green blend. Thought it might look kind of slimy. Just the more you work it, the more it blends. If you're finding you're getting those harsh lines, just keep working it and spreading it. You're moving that color around, if that makes sense. So that, see how I'm just keep... I don't know what you're saying. Um, moving it. I'm kind of pushing it up so I don't get those harsh lines. Now I'm going to come in with the light, this green, cover that up. And a lot of times I'll go over it all with the light just to really blend it. I guess I need to go to the doctor for my ankle. It's like, okay, it's not going away. I was hoping it would. I think it comes from summertime. I don't I wear shoes a lot. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like, at night it really, really hurts. I don't want to do physical therapy, though. You know, that's not very fun. So I'm coming in with a completely different color. After I'll stop whining for a minute. Dull green. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Let's see here. And then I did, I, oh, I need to do her headband purple. Purple. Let's see here. I don't really, purple blend. There we go. Forgot to do that. Am I in frame? I got the glare of the, yeah, okay, of the lights here. So it's kind of hard for me to look down upon you, upon the camera. That is not you. really quiet and then all of a sudden some big cherry picker truck came into the up just a road over I was like what the heck and I think they took they take down any trees that look like they may fall which is good there's a couple tagged around here I, but that's been a couple years it's like <laughs> nothing near my trailer thank goodness that makes me feel better and see this is kind of a purpley pink See that? Almost like a hot pink. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Then I'll move all of that together. Yeah, see that one in... I don't agree with all of their blending. It's like, that's not purple. That's pink. Sorry, but... The way they label it or whatever. But, you know... They, you can use, like I said, use different purples, mix your colors. Sorry, I get quiet. I'm, f I'm fussing, fussing around here. All right, I'm going to call that. Oh, pfft. I do this sometimes. I put both ends on before I have all three on. Let's try this purple just to kind of... Make it go in there. Well, there we go. And this is the hydrangea one. I have a whole big thing of Copics, but <laughs> I tend to use these the most, obviously. Okay, so then I'm going to make her headband orange. And I've got the orange blend. This is one that I reordered because I had left the lid off. You cannot refill these. And again, I do not work for them. I just like this product. And then come in with a light. And blend it all together. So, like I said, you just keep working it till it. I believe there are people, your places you can get true lessons on how to color. <laughs> you watch Tina, Tina Bean, um, T 
Tina Kappa, she, oh my gosh, the hair, how she does the hair with that shiny, I cannot do that. I need to watch some videos on how to do that. Oh, last night I was sitting out on my porch at my house, and all of a sudden, the coyotes got going. There's a swamp across the street behind those houses. Oh, it's such a creepy sound. I don't know if they're mating or if they found something, somebody's cat. It's like, oh, God, but, you know, they need to eat, too, so I guess. <laughs> but you don't realize how many are back there till you hear that. It's like, oh, such an eerie sound. Ugh. I believe a cat ate one of my favorite pet cats of there, or a coyote ate, coyotes probably ate my favorite cat of all time, Big Poppy. He would float on the pool with me on my air mattress back at the old house. I love that guy. All right, so yeah, I like how that turned out. Not too many harsh lines, so that's good. You know you're saturating it good if you turn it over and you got your good color coming through. I, I can't remember who it was I was watching, but they said to put another piece of paper behind and I don't remember why but I try to do that I don't always do that okay I think I will do the buttons orange I can't remember exactly how I did it on the last one but that's okay it doesn't matter Let's see and I'll do her bows in orange too there we go and I'll do her little bows Yeah, that coyote sound. Oof. Now, I checked with Margaret about the cardinals and the light, the light, what is it called? Lightning bugs? She said the part of the UP where she grew up, she never saw. Her mom had a red cardinal where she's, you know, it just depends on where we're at in the UP, but yes, she's seen the lightning bugs. So, I'm like, I need to see some, just saying. All right, so, oh, then I'm going to do, oh, see, there's more her sleeve. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay. <laughs> if I'm, or Tori was here, she'd be, oh, for the love of Pete. Oh, well, my granddaughters, I see them in a couple of weeks. I get to babysit Coco. Uh, she just cracks me up for a few days. Um, I, I miss having a dog, but this way it's I don't have to pay to feed her I don't have the vet bills but I get all the fun out of it so they're going just locally on a camping trip or on a trip so I said you know what I'll watch her I'm not doing anything so there you go okay there we go that's kind of cute I don't mind on her because it's kind of a comical looking thing to do we need to do the bubbles bubbling brew here I don't know why, but I think they need to be green, too, like a slime type thing. That's just my interpretation. I think I'm going to come in, though, with a lighter. Let's see. Lighter green, not a lighter. <laughs> ah, yeah. Don't you love how I crack myself up? That's so sad. <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh. I don't think I like that one. Let me go over to this one. Okay. I don't know what she's cooking, but it's maybe why the frog isn't too happy. Maybe it's its booty. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot to get. So then you can look here. It They label them LG1, because I've done this before where I line them up wrong. And LG, light green. There we go. You don't want to mix your, I guess. I don't know if it's that big a deal, but it kind of defeats the purpose if you're mixing them. All right. I'll be back. All right. Now I'm working on the broom. And I just got out Muted Brown Blends. And you always want to go in with your darkest when anything's overlapping. And then I'm going to go dark with these lines here. 
I'm going to flip it over and do the little medium brown. And then I'm going to come in with the light brown. The browns tend to be really dark, so I kind of go for these lighter. I don't know. Depends on what I'm doing, but... Blend it all together. There we go. I'm going to come back in and redo that dark. Just really lightly go over those lines. And I'm just going to go like that. Okay. I like it. I will do different. I don't mean to keep just coloring. I, I do more than just color. I do a lot of coloring. Though. I do like to color. Let's do the spider in the pot. And I'm going to use ice gray. Now this one's weird because it's like they mixed up. Is it this one? One of the grays, it's backwards. Like the light is the dark and vice versa. But I don't think it's this one. Okay. Anyway. I digress. But this is a pretty dark one, so I'll have to be careful. I don't know if I brought out my other Spectrum Noir. See, this looks, this says it's, is this the mid? That's the dark, but doesn't that look dark? They don't have a true, yeah, that's darker. I all messed up. Anyway. There's warm grays when you color. And there's um, light grays. You know, icy type. A lot of times the warm grays are your animals. I sound like I really know what I'm talking about. I really don't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. <laughs> anyway. I'm not liking the, because the dark and the medium are really dark, and then the light is really light. So what the heck are we doing to me here, people? All right, I'll just keep going. This is the medium. I'm going to put down the light right where I want to keep it light so I don't forget to leave that. Sometimes I do that because I tend to forget, you know, to leave some parts of it light for a highlight. There we go. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use that on the spider. That is just too darn dark. I'm really worried about the emotional stability of that frog. <laughs> it's like, he looks very shed. <laughs> so, he looks like he needs a warm hug. What is this? Yeah, brown gray shades. Otherwise, his eyes and stuff won't show up. So there we go. I'm going to go with that. All right. I did the frog in a little bit of a different green, and then I went over it with yellow. Kind of gave it that. And I have a little bit of pink in there, too, just on his little tummy. Okay. Now I'm going to do her skin. And I have. They come with Fair Skin Blend. You can also buy just the skin tones, too. Just nice. And of course, you're going to shade. Dark to light, medium and light. And her nose, isn't it a lovely nose that she has here? Makes mine look good. I'm telling you, when I was younger, oh my gosh. I hit puberty. <laughs> Jesus. I had like straight hair and all of a sudden my hair just went going, you know, curled up and my nose grew and I had, I was very skinny and it just, oh, I got teased so bad about my nose. So yeah, but you know, you get older and 
my son Brian said growing up, he goes, I've looked at all the relatives' noses and I've decided because his dad had a big nose too. Big round bulbous one. Anywho, um, that I want grandma's nose. And darned if he didn't get her my mother's nose. I was like, you lucky duck. So nice regular nose. All right, and I think I'll do her warts in this limey green that I found. Uh, let's see, where is it? That's not the one. Which one did I decide was the... I'm telling you. Citrus green. Here we go. I think I spent a lot of time on her little warts there. Let's see. I did the bubbles. I did this. Oh, the hair. I was going to show you how I do her hair. I'm going to do that in green because she's just so lovely. I could have done gray or something, but I'm going to go green. It's the dark. Let's see. Maybe I want a little bit darker. Maybe the medium of the dull green. Here we go. And medium of the citrus green. For me, there's just no rules in creating. You just create, you know? Just go for it. Have fun. Doesn't come out perfect. Oh, well. You probably got better at something while you were doing it, right? That's what I figure, because I certainly didn't start out coloring as like I do now. You just learn as you go. Okay, then I'm going to come through because I want her to look like it's hair. So I'm just going to kind of lightly, I'm not touching very hard, do little hair strands like this. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. All right, I finished the, her other ponytail. Now I'm going to go in and do the patches. I thought I'd bring some blue in on here. Why not? And this is aqua blue. I don't know if you see that. I kind of move it all around. Okay. Again, not an expert. Not in the least. But, you know. Just what I've learned from doing this for a while. And you can't let it sit too long on the paper. Because then it'll, you know, be too, it won't move as much. It needs to be kind of wet. Now that's what's nice about watercolor. It can be activated at any time. Okay, then I think what I'm going to do is do an orange patch there. Nah, I think I'm going to go blue. I'm going to just keep them all blue. It's everything, I don't know why. Things in nature are an odd number. and <laughs> I just think it'll look good. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, just because I can. Okay. Isn't she cute? All right. This is kind of... I will come back in. I don't think I have my um, glossy gel. Wait a minute. Maybe I do. I don't have all my... I think my gel pens are back at my house. Yes, they are. Okay, so... What to do? What to do? I'll just do it in this, and then I'll go over it with the glossy gel. So this is just a warm gray. And 
Come in with the light color. Leave a little light just for interest. Okay. And there we go, guys. We colored up a, a little witchy gnome. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I got this on Teemu, so I, if I can find the link to her, I will get it for you, as well as the tag. Don't forget, I also showed you these. So let me know below if you want me to make these, um, make one with you, but it's pretty darn easy. Like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Take care. Bye.